Hey, what's up, you guys? It is me, your favorite fashion vixen, Emric, aka Momo, and welcome to another episode of Hot or Not. So today we are going to be reviewing the fashion stylings of Oh Young Nana. So jumping straight in, we have a picture of her at work. She is doing her job. She is the cellist, and she looks super cute. This is a really good example of you know dressing appropriately. She is there to do a job. I really like the little bows on the shoulders or a nice little applique, and it's totally cute. That look was hot. Next we have. So she's keeping things kind of casual. We have her in a belted tartan picnic blanket, and um, this is really, really casual. Like, I don't dislike it. I like the dress. I think if this was styled a bit differently, I think if she went for um, something that cinched her in quite a bit more, and then added like some tooling underneath to make it kind of pop out a bit more, removed the the vest and added some some heels to it, it could have really turned into something a little bit more Westwood inspired, you know, with the especially with the tartan fabric, and I think then it would have been bomb. But as it is, my dear, at the Miu Miu Disco. This outfit is not hot. Now here we've got a look from Cosmopolitan, and she's wearing something that I can only describe, for all intents and purposes, as a sequined sack. But I love it. This is really, really beautiful. This is a really rare example of someone who's so like super skinny and slender, really making something so baggy work for them without cinching it at all. Uh, it's a really beautiful outfit. I love the material. I love the shoes. I love the like kind of lost fawn look that she's given you. Very like. Where am I going? How did I get here? It's beautiful. The whole thing, head to toe, A plus. This is hot. Next, we have um, a feature that she did for Vogue. She kind of looks like a weird slutty toddler. This like denim on denim on denim with weird rainbow socks is really not the one. The outfit kind of infantilizes her and makes her look way younger than she is. Like I get it, she's young. She's like what, 18, 19 years old. But this outfit makes her look around 12, maybe 14. And I really think she needs to probably step out of that and into some more adult looks, like the one we just saw her in. I know she can do it, I've seen her do it. So there is no excuse to look like a slutty toddler. Not hot. Okay, next we have, ah, so she's wearing Gucci, or Gucci as it's known. Um, but for some reason, it looks a lot like Chanel, which is interesting. I do like the look. This is giving me like a very modern, updated version of the classic movie Heathers. That was a great movie. Um, but she looks like she could be straight out of that kind of 90s era, and I really do like it. The outfit makes her look super tall, super slender, and I'm noticing that she doesn't really like to wear heels. So I think what she's done here with, you know, the knee socks and the boots is kind of a good way to avoid that. But all in all, this look is hot. Oh, okay, so now we have her in Chanel. If I didn't know this was Chanel, I would assume that she made this dress herself. I really don't like the appliques on this dress, the like red and blue and green little gems they've stuck all over it. I hate the bottom of the dress, the way that the hem is frayed. It kind of looks like the sack that she's sitting on. And the way that they've paired like leather straps with trainers that are also kind of patent leather, but slightly different shades really don't go together. And especially not with the top half of the outfit. It's really quite clunky. It's quite uncoordinated. Um, and I don't really have many nice things to say about this photograph. So I'm just gonna quickly move to the next one. Not hot. Oh, wow, well this is far better. This is beautiful. Here we've got her in a 
Chloe wrap dress blazer type thing. Shorts by the Couples and watch by Cartier. I have to say, this is exquisite. I also really like the glow she's got going on in this picture. She looks useful, she looks happy, she looks healthy, but she still looks sophisticated, which I really respond well to. Um, I like the blazer paired with the shorts, you know, it looks quite sexy. I like the way that the um, blazer nips are in at the waist to create a little shape in her. And I really like the long flowing hair, it gives her like a, a cute Asian Rapunzel kind of vibe and I'm definitely into it. Um, again, I can see that she really does not like to wear a high heel, um, but I think it would have transitioned this outfit into a more, you know, adult phase, as I was saying earlier. And I think once she gets comfortable in walking in heels, a lot of her outfits will really be pushed over that edge and really turn her from tween into, you know, full glamorous, beautiful lady adult. All in all, it's hot. So it's time for <laughs> just the tip. I'm gonna talk about a couple of different ways to nip yourself in at the waist. So, number one, we've got a corset or a cincher. I'm not gonna lie, they can hurt. Be careful not to pull yourself in too much, otherwise you can shift around some of your organs, but they will give you a really nice hourglass shape. Another way to do it, if you don't fancy crossing some of your ribs, is to just belt the outfit you're wearing. Now, you can either actually put an actual belt on it, or you can take a normal belt, wrap it around, loop it, and then feed the tail end through the hole that you created. And that will create a really interesting effect that will allow you to belt things that don't come with a belt. And that is how you get a nice tapered waist. Okay guys, that is it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this episode of Hot or Not, and I've hoped you enjoyed reviewing these fashions with me. Please let me know in the comments down below who you'd like me to review next time. And until we meet again, stay highlighted and moisturized. Kisses from England, guys. Bye.